Hey familia, Miranda here, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my A24 collection. So A24 has been killing it with all these awesome releases, top quality, and I was actually surprised to see how many A24 films I actually have in my collection. Um, there, I do have a little stack that I will be sharing towards the end that I will kind of go like explain um, when the time comes. But anywho, let's go ahead and get right into this. All right, so first up we have The Farewell. Now I have not seen this one, but I have heard nothing but excellent things about it. So I definitely need to get to this one soon. I'm sure I will be needing a box of tissues for this one. Um, then we have The Lighthouse. So I actually just watched this one the other day. This movie was very strange. Uh, I'm not too like concrete on how I actually feel about this film. Um, it was just, weird like I get it's them like you know losing their sanity but it was just I don't know something else it was just very confusing I guess um the shots though are beautiful I give it that but yeah I, I'm gonna have to watch this one again and just kind of see what I think about it second time around but this was a interesting one for sure um next up we have mid 90s and to be honest you guys i feel like this one was overhyped. Um, I grew up in the 90s, you guys. Uh, I'm a 90s kid, so I honestly did not get 90s vibes from this. Um, if anything, this was more of a skater flick, um, so I didn't really enjoy this one all that much. Um, it's just, you know, there's a lot of like skating involved and obviously like the typical, you know, underage, drinking, smoking, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but I just honestly did not get the 90s vibes. So definitely more skater friendly. Um, but yeah, so we got mid 90s. We got Lady Bird, which this is another one too uh, I didn't care too much for. Um, it was all right. I honestly don't really remember too much about it because it's been a little bit since I actually watched it. Um, but I mean, it was it was okay. Next up we have Eighth Grade. This is more of like a PG version, I guess, of 13, um, which 13 is honestly way better than this one, but I enjoyed it for what it is. Next up we have Green Room, which this is one that I've heard excellent things about. I still need to watch it, so I need to get on that soon. Then we have The Witch, and this one, you guys, honestly, I did not care for at all. Um, I found this one very boring, and uh, <laughs> it was, I don't know, it just wasn't scary. It just wasn't really what I expected. Um, I did only watch it once, so you know I may have to give it a, a second chance. We'll see, uh, but we have The Witch. Next up is Room. This one is really, really good, you guys. Definitely a tearjerker. Um, it just has lots of sad moments. But what I liked about this film is like, I feel like when we see these kind of like, sort of like documentaries and stuff about this type of situation, like you don't really get to see much of their life after, you know, their like freedom. Um, and so this was a nice, like, mix like part of it was them being in the room and just the progression on how they were able to you know get out and then after that it just kind of like shares like the their life like after this whole you know um you know being locked up in a room and everything and so I thought that that was uh pretty cool about this film so highly recommend this one if you have not seen it all right, so next up we have ScarJo in Under the Skin. This movie was very, very interesting. Uh, definitely a slow burn, but ScarJo was excellent in this, to be honest. Um, but it is, it's different, you guys. Very, very different. Um, that ending was like just very strange. I don't know. Um, I'm not really too positive on like, you know, my thoughts on this one. Like I said, it's a slow burn. So uh, this is gonna be a uh, film that I need to uh, revisit here again sometime soon, um, just to kind of, you know, figure out my feelings on this one. But it was, it was interesting. <laughs> very, very weird. Uh, next up we have Ex Machina. I think that's how you wanna say it. Um, I have not seen this one, but everybody raves about this. So I need to watch that one very soon. Um, and then we have The Spectacular Now, great film. Alrighty, so next up we have Saint Maud, and this is one newer one that came out uh, last year, and uh, it's one that I have yet to watch, heard lots of mixed reviews on it, 
but I'm definitely curious about this one. So I need to pop this one in here soon. Next up is Zola. And I did recently watch this one and it was quite a wild ride. It's crazy that it's like based on a true story and you know that all of this happened just in a matter of I think it was like 48 hours, right? Um, yeah, I believe it was 48 hours that everything that happened took place during that time span and it's just it, it's crazy you guys so highly recommend this one if you have not uh lots of nudity though you guys this next one minari absolutely beautiful beautiful film check it out if you haven't then we got midsummer and this one is another one very slow burn very very strange but I really enjoyed this one. It is super long. Um, ooh, it's 147 minutes long, you guys. Um, and I will say it did kind of actually feel like it was that long. Um, but just the way that this film progresses is amazing. The cinematography is beautiful. And just like all of the different like characters are just kind of like unique in their own way. And it's just very odd odd film you guys and just the way things play out is insane um so i did i really enjoyed this one next up we have hereditary uh, i enjoyed this for what it is um but i honestly didn't really find it too scary or, at all um i mean there's a couple parts and then that like oh my gosh the decapitation scene my goodness like my jaw hit the floor when that happened it's like you knew it was gonna happen but when it actually happened like it was like Wow. <laughs> um, yeah, that kind of like haunted me for a couple days after watching this one, but uh, we got Hereditary. Next up is The Bling Ring, which I have not gotten to this one yet, but uh, it is based on a true story about these uh, like group of, uh, I don't know if they're like students or whatever. Um, there's a group of people that they break into like celebrities' houses and stuff like that and, uh, you know, steal their... Uh, you know their goods and stuff so then we have the green knight this one too it i'm still not sure how i really feel about this one um it is absolutely beautiful like the cinematography and everything the green knight himself is just gorgeous um and the storyline it's i dig the storyline it's just the i don't know it was a little too slow for my taste um, so this is another one that I just need to, you know, see how I feel about it second time around. Um, it was a bit long. Um, this one too is 129 minutes. Um, but nonetheless, it, it like I said, the story is good on this one and the shots and everything are beautiful. Um, it's just, I don't know, there's something about it that I just couldn't quite get much into. Um, so I'll have to revisit that one. Um, and then next up is actually one that I have on DVD um, and I have yet to watch this one, but I've heard good things. Um, and that is The Killing of a Sacred Deer. I couldn't get the sticker off. I think I got this like at Rite Aid or something like that a while back. Um, so, I, but yeah, I hear that this is a pretty wild, pretty dark movie, pretty twisted. Um, so it's one that I definitely need to see about watching soon. All right, so as I mentioned, I do have a little stack here of some films that technically, you know, here in the US, they are considered A24 films, but these ones were actually released in Canada. Um, and so that's like, I have the Canadian release of it. Um, but like I said, here in the US, they are considered to be A24 films. So I'm gonna go ahead and share them with you guys. Um, so first up, we have Spring Breakers. Um, which this one, I know not everybody's cup of tea. It wasn't all that great. It was kind of dumb, but you know, it is what it is, you guys. <laughs> I wanted it for the collection. I want to get as many A24 films as possible. Um, like I said, there's a ton out there that I'm still looking to get down the road. Um, then next up we have a Laggies, which I've been meaning to get to this one simply for Chloe Grace. So I love her. Um, and then we got Gloria Bell, which I haven't watch this one. I really don't know anything about it. Um, this is one that I've heard nothing but excellent things about. Um, I hear it's probably one of Robert Pattinson's better performances. Um, this one is actually on DVD and uh, that is good time. 
And then last but not least, another DVD that I have here. Again, I need to like upgrade a couple of these. Um, the Disaster Artist. I haven't watched this one yet. Um, heard kind of mixed reviews on this one, um, surprisingly, but yeah. Anywho, that is all of my A24 films, you guys. Uh, so thanks so, so much for watching. Enjoy the family if you have not, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.